What's good, y'all? What's good, YouTube? Prior, enter my realm real quick, man. Now, look, Chief Pariah in the building. The man in the man is in the building. How y'all doing? Y'all having a good day? Y'all having a good night? You having a good morning? No, 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 no. Chill, chill. You having a grand rising. You having a grand rising, my brother. Now, look, man. <laughs> look, man, let's just hop right in. We're busy, man. No time, no waste. Where to start with self improvement? I'm already I'm scrolling through, you know, I'm, I'm scrolling through, the, I'm scrolling through my tabs, and I see a particular interesting post. Where to start with self improvement? There are so many things I want to change about my current life, but I get overwhelmed with where to start, since obviously I can't turn my whole life over all at once. The problem is for me. Where do I start? Should I start with the easiest thing to change? Or the most important one right now? Is it better to break bad habits first? Or rather make good ones first? Whenever I'm trying to change one thing, I'm always thinking about some other problem. Should I have tackled that one first? Seems more problematic and urgent. And whenever that happens, I'm losing motivation and feel like I can't change anything because I will always get caught up in some other problem. I'm a huge perfectionist, which doesn't help at all. Any advice? <sighs> we have an overthinker, but I have the perfect advice for him, the perfect advice for myself, and the perfect advice for you. Now, when it comes to self-improvement, one of my favorite quotes, one of my favorite sayings is, every man must search his own soul. Every man must conduct self-inventory. And the reason I say this is because Although a lot of the things that we preach to do are, are uni universal good habits, every man has his own set of unique flaws and unique strengths. It's all individualistic. Hope I said that right. And then when I was 16, I found out about self-improvement. One of the first things I realized was, bro, I'm addicted to porn. I can't stop beating my knee. So my main focus was practicing no fap and also getting in the gym because then one girl said I had a bird chest. And then after that, I started feeling insecure. I think I was what, 5'10", at maybe 125 at the start of the school year. And I'm like, all right. My, the main people who I looked it up to were fictional characters. People like Goku, Baki, Frieza, Cell, L from Death Note. Um, so a lot of these fictional characters was, was who influenced me to this day how I am now. Um, and that's also a good thing. You take, with self inventory, you take certain traits from other people or from, or from certain things that influence you and, and you import it into your life. You know, you, you, you take on these characteristics and make it you. I'm not telling you to become an, a whole nother person. I'm not telling you to be like, oh, Andrew Tate, let me be exactly like him. <laughs> or be like, oh, Pariah, yeah, let me, you know what I'm saying? No. Be you and replace your negative traits with positive traits that you wish to associate yourself with. Like I said, every man must hurt his own soul. Um, your main flaw could be finances. Your main flaw could be you're physically out of shape. Your main flaw could be you're not intelligent. Um, you might have to read more books. Your main flaw could be you're bad talking to girls and you got to go out there and get more socially active. Every man must hurt his own soul. But that's a good way to start so you can know your, your strengths, so you can know your flaws, you know your positives, and you know your negatives. Now, the next step with self-improvement is just health and fitness. Getting in the gym, that's pretty much a mandatory. Universally, it's a mandatory. So improve, improve physically. Hop in the gym, eat clean, whether it's bulk up or shred down. That's a diet. That's a meal plan. That's uh, um, proper eating habits. Not eating triple beef burgers. <laughs> Not eating double Big Macs, you feel me? Not eating these type of uh, junk processed foods because they're not healthy. You feel me? They're not healthy. They serve no benefit towards the body. Them nutrients are not worth it. I'd rather you get it from a clean source of meat. Your lamb, alligator, <laughs> lobster, shrimp, chicken, beef, pork, whatever. Hey, whatever you rock with, just don't eat the triple beef burgers. Um, how I started with health and fitness, like I said, I was 16 during the summer. I did 100 push-ups a day. I did a 15-minute workout, um, 15-minute hour workout by Fraser Wilson. I will put his channel in the description. He's the GOAT. 
And I think every other day I ran a mile. It was summertime. I had nothing but time on my hands. Um, when I had a job, you know what I'm saying, still did my 100 push-ups, and I still did my 15-minute ab workout. All you got to do is take 30 minutes of your time and dedicate it to working out. If you don't know how to get started, download the Nike training app or the Adidas training app, or go on YouTube and look up 15-minute workout. That's how I got started. Um, Frazier Wilson and Billy Juice. I think it's Billy Juice. I want to say I want to say it's Billy, uh, Billy Juice. I want to say it's Billy Juice. As I started getting in the gym more and more and more, started becoming more physically active. Um, the results started showing, and as I as I got my first six pack, I, mean, I was confident. Literally, I remember when I first got my shoulder cuts. I was I, I bought my first pack of tank tops, and I only wear tank tops. Literally, I was wearing a literally the moment I got my first shoulder cuts, like. Um, my, like I got like you was able to see my shoulder lines. I bought my first pack of tank tops and I only wore tank tops uh, for a full summer. Dead for real. Not playing. It's just a different aura you have when you're when you're able to look at yourself in the mirror and see improvement and see change. Um the amount of confidence you gain when you start to see you for me your two pack, your four pack, your six pack, your V cut coming in shape, your chest coming in. I mean it's a good feeling. You're going to want to take off your shirt. You're not going to be embarrassed to go to the pool. You're not going to be embarrassed to, to to take a mirror selfie, you know what I'm saying, with your shirt off. You're not going to be embarrassed to go to the grocery store in the same time. Um, and just overall for health, I mean, who wouldn't want to be physically fit? Who wouldn't want to at least be active enough to, to be able to run a mile in a good, decent amount of time? Who wants to be weak? I don't know a man who wants to be weak, but I digress. The next step with self-improvement is your mentality and spirituality. Now, when we talk about your mentality, this is where your discipline comes in. This is where your mindset comes in. This is where your perception of the world comes in. And um, this is really this is really the most important because I remember I went through a time where I so to say I gave up. I gave up on everything. I ain't want I ain't care if I live or die. I ain't care if I was on here on earth or not. I ain't care about anything. Um really just trying to take it day by day and get back in the right place mentally. And what helped me was understanding that I do have a purpose on um, on earth. Um one of the worst things a human could go through was wake up and not know why they're here. In my definition, that's hell. I got that for the sense city. In my definition, that's hell. To wake up and not know why you're here. And that's why it's important to have a passion, a purpose, a goal to work towards. That way, well, I can't speak for everyone, but for me, I'm great at talking. I love giving advice. I love doing things of this nature. It it, it just gives me a certain energy. Like it just it just puts me in the right mind. And ah, me seeing and helping other people grow helps me grow. Me seeing other people being positive, seeing other people spread positive energy helps me spread positive energy, helps me be positive and maintain a positive mindset. Um, Like I said, if you have a purpose, a passion, a goal to work towards, that means that gives you focus. That gives you a sense of direction. You're not lost anymore. When you're self-improving, your main goal is to be the best version of yourself. And that's an everlasting journey. It's not a destination. Um. Because you don't know what the best version of yourself will look like. I don't know. I mean, 16-year-old me first starting out with just doing push-ups. And you know what I'm saying? I ain't never used to use big words. I ain't never used to read books. I never used to read books or care about using big words. Or, you know, try and come up with quotes and sayings. And I didn't think I would be doing YouTube. But look at me now. Right now, I'm, I feel like the best version of myself. And I'm going to keep... Chasing the best version of myself, keep working on myself until hey, I'm I croak. But but that's really the main thing when it comes to mentality is having the right mindset. Um what helps me is knowing that the top of one hill is the bottom of another mountain. We we gonna go through ups and downs, you know, and the climate that we're in right now, it's a lot of people who struggle with mental health. A lot. The people I talk to and the field of work I'm in ain't happy. I ain't met not one person who was genuinely happy. 
but I do ask them, well, well, what do make you happy? What do um, get your mind away from this stressful situation? And they say, um, entertainment, going for a drive, reading a book, playing video games, watching movies. People have their own ways of coping with the world. And I understand, and you gotta understand that every day not gonna be good. Every day, it, it gotta rain. It gotta rain for a plant to grow. A plant gotta get watered somehow. How you gonna grow? So, with having the right mentality, with having the right spirituality, and I'm not gonna speak on the spirituality part because I'm not, I, I can't dive, I can't speak too much about spirituality. But when it comes to your mindset, if you have a positive mindset, then you can turn any negative into a positive. If you have a positive mindset, then you can turn any negative setback into a positive blessing. Any, any negative situation into a positive blessing. We don't take losses, we learn lessons. No L's. Two L's is equals a W. You know what I'm saying? You gotta gotta be positive with your um, with your mentality. Um, no giving up, no quitting, dead game. You know what I'm saying? We, we gonna keep striving until we croak. <laughs> That's just my mentality, man. Um, but obviously he has a goal. Um, he has he has a right head on his shoulders. He he understands that he needs to self improve. Um, but you don't want to overthink. It. There is no destination. As long as you, as long as you just start with, I right, let me, let me hit the gym. Let me at least do tw twenty push-ups or one plus push-ups a day, ten push-ups a day. Let me start eating a little bit more cleaner. Let me just not eat McDonald's no more. It's the little, it's the little habits like that that's gonna stack and stack and stack and stack. And I, and over time, you're gonna see growth. Over time, you're gonna be un unnoticeable by your peers. Um, every, nothing is instant. Um, actually, for real, for real, when I look back, when I'm in the moment, I don't feel I don't feel any different. I don't think like, oh, I'm way smarter than what I was uh, two months ago. No, it just gradually over time, as I really reflect, I'm like, damn, I grown, bro. I truly did grow. I grow. But really, it's other people who let me know. It's other people be like, hey, Trey, bro, you way different than what you was, was last year, bro. You done grown. Um, but let me quit talking, man. Hopefully, I, I answer this question. Hopefully, I let y'all know where to start with self improvement, self inventory. Look at yourself in the mirror. Are you happy? Do you like what you see? You know what I'm saying? Do you see bumps and pimples all over your face? Get a skin routine. You don't like your hair? Get a new haircut. You feel me? You don't like your body? Hit that gym. Increase your water. Can't run a mile? Start jogging. Start walking. You're not smart? Start reading books. You feel me? You can see it. It, you can see it. You can see it. But anyway, I'm Pariah. She Pariah in the building. A man in the man downtown. Enjoy your day. Enjoy the rest of your day, man. And I... Hold on, hold on, hold on. And I... God.